going to Santa's Village. We are going to Santa's Village, the, the good one, not the one in Illinois. Future Alpine coaster location. <laughs> What city is that over there? Please wear All righty enthusiasts, we are in the state of New York. We are going to two parks today. We are park hopping. The first park is Rye Playland, and the second park is Adventureland. <laughs> I'm so excited to go to Adventureland. Well, no, wait. If we don't like something, we won't be riding it the second day. Oh, like a kitty goes on off the Alrighty, so we just got off of Dragon Coaster. It was my first ride, not his, because he's getting like I three really, credits this whole trip. I'm not getting any credits. Uh, well, I'm getting them later. Yeah, he's getting it the later. The one credit I was missing here is closed. <laughs> yeah, honestly, anyway. Dragon Coaster is a really good ride. It's, it's very so smooth. It's, so it's very smooth. long. It's I like the little dragon that you go in halfway through the ride. But at, throughout the butt. <laughs> at the same time, it's not too forceful. Yeah. I staple, but it didn't matter. Yeah, and it honestly reminded me a lot of like a ride at Black Bull or something. Yeah. not on but we're in the line for this mouse ride and look at these little cool things honestly i don't think i've ever seen a park do that but i really like it I it's like really good it, and they're just very like easy like, yeah they're so nice Alrighty, so we just rode this new ride. In fact, this ride opened today. today? Like, it is the opening day. This ride is two hours old. And I have to say, it was a pretty fun ride. The theming is awesome. The theming is amazing. The aesthetic is great. And I love how interactive it can be. Uh, Nick, is this yours? I think so. <laughs> Probably. Oh. Anyways, though, it was a really fun ride. Definitely give it a great rating for a family ride. This is charming. This is, like, actually really nice. All righty, we are on a Tunnel of Love style ride. Is this your first ever Tunnel of Love? Yeah, tunnel of Glove with Bro and SpongeBob. Garfield's Nightmare. <laughs> Garfield's <laughs> Nightmare. Weird. These rides are so fun. I love them. So charming. All righty, we just got off of their Tunnel of Love style ride. What did you guys think? I think I was too fat. That was honestly a really cool ride. They put you guys, they put me in the back and she was like, sit all the way to the right. And that's where Nick was sitting. And not to- We say, almost capsized. Yeah, we almost capsized. Long like, story <laughs> short, we literally tipped over and water started going all over yeah, the Yeah, we literally tipped over. And this is like a little Tunnel of Love ride. Honestly, it was really fun. It might be my favorite ride here. It was really slow. And I don't know if that was supposed to happen. Yeah, it literally stopped at We're like 700 points. million pounds. Alrighty, we are leaving Playland Park in Rye, New York. What did you guys think? I, I okay. had a good time. I did not hate it. It, was a little, it wasn't like great it was or really, anything. Really it was really lesser, but I would totally come back. It was just really hot out and there's not enough shit. Yeah. But you know, Dragon Coaster is fun. Yeah, Dragon Coaster is a pretty Dragon solid Coaster's ride, bad, actually. Uh, Crazy Mouse was not as bad as I thought it would be. The double Shot was awesome. Though. Super Fight was closed. We rode a ride on its opening day today. My favorite ride is Yield Mill. Yeah, I really like Yield Mill. I don't know what I like more, the Kennywood Old Mill or that one. Hi guys! Man, they really cram everything in there. There's like no one there. That's black. <laughs> Yay! This is a very interesting park, very interesting plot of land, but they actually got a new roller coaster this year called Fireball. And I'm pretty excited for this park. 
it's very small like it looks very weird this is the parking lot it's all like one row i don't know this is bizarre watch this the spider is on its own train <laughs> in all the parks i have ever been to i have never seen something like that be done <laughs> so nick compared to your expectations they're currently exceeding them what about you jason yeah. this is just fun honestly it is better than i expected oh, wow. Because it's meant for kids, and we're like a billion pounds. We just got off of Turbulence at Adventureland. What'd you guys that think? That was amazing. That, that was one of the most aggressive spinners I have ever That ridden. was so good. That was very intense. That was a very intense ride. That was just a gem. We spun like, what, 10 times in a row? I was not like 200 times. That was crazy. This thing honestly exceeded my expectations. This thing is so good. Alrighty, guys, what time is it? Closing time. <laughs> time for bed. Time for you to go oh, out to the Generation Sweet Shop. Darn. Yeah, Adventureland was a lot nicer of a park than I was honestly anticipating. You know, it's a really depressing feeling. What? When like a park closes at night and all the lights are starting to turn off and like everything's not running. I mean, for the workers, not. <laughs> well, bes besides them. Oh. Yeah, but this is a great park. This is a very well-rounded park. I think this park is one of the best collections of water rides out there. I was gonna say this is my favorite new park, but it's my only new park of the trip so It's your least favorite park? Yes. Alrighty, we are in New York City, specifically Queens, and we are leaving for what is probably the most adventurous day on the trip. Coney Island. Luna Park. And... Dino's. Uh, yeah. Riding cycling. I'm so excited for Nick to ride it. And then after that, we have adventures. Alrighty, we are at some little known park that no one ever talks about. This is Dino's Wonder Wheel. <laughs> Dino's Wonder Wheel. There, right there, is the Coney Island Cyclone, which is like the most famous coaster in the world. We don't know where to park. And we have all these other stupid Zamperella rides that no one cares about. No! I'm Tornado's excited to fun. ride Tornado. Tornado's fun! And Thunderbolt. Yeah, this is going to be a really fun day. I'm excited. This is going to be an interesting day. He's about to go. He's about to jump to the park. He's with a single rider. Yeah. Oh, no! That was really good. Did you see his face? No. <laughs> you just stand. We're on the Sorn Eagle. This ride is so oh my god. Oh my god. Is this it? My feet are gonna fall out. Then don't.
I see it. Hey, Katie! <laughs> see, Alrighty, I just got off of the Coney Island Cyclone, what is probably the most famous or one of the most famous landmark roller coasters in the world. I gotta say, uh, the airtime was fine, but the laterals were really good on this thing. It's also butter smooth. This is just such a nice ride, very well-rounded, and I think this is definitely worth the trip alone. I mean, I love this thing. Alrighty, what do you guys think of the park so far? I like this park. There's this is my first ever time here. Uh, the tickler was eh, but the cyclone was really good. Definitely one of the best wooden coasters I've been on from that era. Whee! Now we're gonna ride a Nebulas. Ooh, we're gonna go. Ooh. Oh, you gotta get on. You guys wanna do the air race too? Yeah, sure. Not the super air race. That doesn't, that doesn't look super. It's just. Hi, Katie. Alrighty, I am drinking a virgin strawberry daiquiri in New York at Coney Island. Pretty good, actually. Uh, so a little bit of a Thunderbolt review. That ride kind of sucked. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Like, the way people describe Skyrush, I think that's what I think about Thunderbolt. It really, I think it's on par with Soarin' Eagle. Like, I wasn't expecting too much because of how people complained about the restraints. But, like, the layout's phenomenal and the airtime is great. But the transitions are just not that good. We are done with Luna Park. Ah! And now we are going to this, which is not Luna Park, but it's right next to Luna Park. It is Dino's, Dino's Wonder Wheel Park. Probably just skip the dark ride, honestly. Yeah. Alrighty, we are at Park 2, even though Park 1 is right there. Yeah. yeah it's Dino's Wonder Wheel Park. We have our friend on Skyflyer, which is like the tiniest well, roller coaster I'll, I'll ever. This ride. Even you, he's shorty. Yeah. We also ran into uh, another YouTuber. We got WNY Coasters. How you guys doing? And uh, yeah, tell me about what you think about the place so far. Um, Dino's, it's, it's small, it's nice. I really like <laughs> Phoenix. I haven't done the wheel yet, so I'm excited to try that. Yeah. But, uh, little parts really good. Um, these in Boardwalk, it's Boardwalk Park, so it's really split up, so it's in this park right in the middle, so it's really weird. But I love Cyclone, Thunderbolt's a little iffy, everything else is just kind of okay, but it's a cool atmosphere and I'm having a good time. Yeah, it's a really nice park. I yeah. think that there's a lot to it. It has a weird setting. Yeah. And this right here is like a New York icon, as is a Coney Island Cyclone. Basically, all the rides that aren't in San Perla are an icon, so... <laughs> The yeah, the S B N O parachute tower. It's so weird, but it's so cool. Yeah. Hey, it's it. it's basically uh, New York's version of Top Thrill Dragster. Adventures Park. We are at what is it? Adventures Park? Yeah, this looks very interesting. This is a really small park. The thing is, we're only here for the credit, but there's not a lot of public rides, but they are everywhere else. Alrighty, park three is done. <laughs> that was fun. We just got off of TL3 coaster. What'd you think? The lap bar was the lap bar didn't even go down. <laughs> no, it didn't. Okay, so we're already leaving the park because we have to go to three more parks and we were here for like 10 minutes. Literally like we seven, were here minutes. For seven minutes. Seven minutes. This is probably the shortest time I've ever been at a park. Mm -hmm. 